May 18, 2020. I'm, I'm up in the uh, hay mile right now. I just fed them, fed the horses, and I cleaned the stalls. It was a mess. They didn't get a chance to go outside. Whew, trying to catch my breath here. It's a beautiful day. It stopped raining. It was raining pretty hard this morning. And again, you can see the leaves just popping out of the trees, out of the branches. They're looking pretty good. There's a black walnut up here. I'm not sure what kind of tree this is. It's a really crappy tree. I cut it all down here before and it just takes off again. So I think this year I'll chop it. I should have done it earlier, but I'll chop it up. Maybe this fall I'll chop it up again. But uh, you can really see the apple trees blossoming, blossoming, <laughs> blossoming. And uh, it'll be producing normally a lot of, as every year it does, a lot of apples. And we love apples. Ooh. Stretching. Every time I strain like that, I'm stretching out the, uh, the GoPro handle. So the cats have been watching me. Uh, cleaning the stalls. Actually, Patches was hiding all morning. This one was kind of bugging me a little bit. Every time I walk by it or near it, she, she flops on the ground and expects me to pet it. Patches is pretty cool. They're both really cool. The black cat, William took over and she stays in the basement with him and that Tori. Tori takes care of it too. Look at that pretty kitty cat. You a goofball. Alright, so I want to show you, um, yesterday we had a ton of uh, rain this morning too, but all day yesterday, I didn't think it was supposed to rain. I don't think Kathy realized it was going to rain either. Oh yeah, now the long trek down this stairwell over hell. Ah, snap, pop, crack. So again, horse's stall is clean. <laughs> Horse has been fed and watered. Turn the light off. I know it's a boring routine, but oops, almost stepped on that dumb cat. Why do they do that? They always run in your way, right exactly where you're going to step. I mean, exactly where your next step's going to be. And they stop. Huh, it's weird. Turn these lights out. So I'm going to show you the paddock. I got a mud puddle. Mud puddle. It's, it's a puddle. Um, puddle of mud. Heard of it? Puddle of mud. All right. So again, it's <laughs> the greenery really makes up for all the wetness. But the sad thing is, the horses can't go outside, and I can't get rid of this horse poo. The poo. I can't get rid of it. Another positive thing is, uh. The water uh, buckets gets remains full. <laughs> Look at that, it is gorgeous. Tony spent uh, a bunch of time, maybe a couple hours in the woods this morning. He works third shift, so he comes in back home at uh, seven o'clock in the morning, and then he usually takes a walk in the woods. I gotta show you this puddle, man. It's It was dry one time this year. Okay, the water buckets look really good. This is really slippery stuff, you guys. See that? It's slippery. This stuff, not so much. Well, second thought. It is. Well, you look at that. Well, you just look at that. Uh, let's see. The grain bucket's full of water. So we got a lot of rain. I ain't going to lie. I hate it when people say that, but check this water out, guys. I know you don't remember from one video to the next, but uh, <laughs> this is probably the maximum this thing ever gets because uh, if it gets too high, it, it overflows right here. It'll go up here and then actually go over into the low area over there. So water, the pressure of the water pushes down into the ground and then it pops up at the uh, uh, at the route of least resistance, which is underground here, and then it'll pop up behind, in, right in the woods, just past the fence. But look at how much water this is. I mean, that's like 
four feet or three feet plus yeah that's incredible so yesterday it was only about this much right here I'm gonna draw a circle about that much and now we got this much so you can imagine how much water but you got to remember we're on a hill we're on a hill but not on top of the hill so so those fields like this yard right here and the fields behind it are above this so it slowly naturally drains here into here along with uh, those fields over there and off my tree or off my tree off my house so <clears throat> yeah hey kitty cat these cats both of them will actually follow us all the way follow us follow us all the way into the woods to the back of the forest the huge forest gotta show you another thing this tree right here is K K Ray Z man check it out that's an apple tree I can't tell you what kind of apple but it's uh, round and red so red apples so I can't tell you that I don't know what kind of they are so you can see this water crested right here and it's actually starting to flow into the woods and so you can see I'll let me lower you so you can get a, a view an idea of what let me you know got to do it this way an idea of what the elevation is it drops off just past the fence about 40 feet or 30 feet <sighs> but check this tree out guys unbelievable if I have time I'll look at listen to that I'm walking this clay just retains the water it's going this far so it does look like it is making it all the way to the fence I think it is just barely So I'll take a walk, hopefully, oh look at the birds are all through this thing. Man, there's like a million birds in there. And they look like all sparrows. I wonder where they nest. I'll have to Google it. Google it, they say. Google it. See that? You can hardly see the neighbor's house anymore. Slowly disappearing. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so I'll make a beeline for that tree in front of our house. I don't know what kind it is, but it's a very popular tree. That's the kind it is, a popular tree. Some of these trees I want to put uh, fences around so the horses don't gnaw at the uh, bark and kill it. But these trees have been around here for over 20 years now, as long as we've been living here. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna walk as fast as I can. I hate it when these videos just get so long. So I had a, a bunch of texts from Dave Voss in St. Petersburg, Florida. And his house, he's got his house, and then he's got a like a deck, and then on the other side of the deck is his uh, closed in patio and garage and it's all covered in the under the same roof i'll draw you a sketch of what it is it's really cool so he's got his laundry laundry stuff on that deck in between the house and the garage so he does his laundry outside but he said the wind blew the rain straight line through his laundry area laundry deck what do i call that breezeway and uh actually got into his house a little bit said that never happened before really with hurricane amy going through i think that was one of the worst uh hurricanes they ever had hurricane amy look it up i think it's like 2017. all right check this tree out right here uh don't mind my heavy breathing my labored breathing Whew. wow all right this tree right here totally blossoms out and then 
it'll get these berries that stay on all winter and the birds will come and nibble at it we had one at uh, johnson controls at the break room area of plant too really cool this is a big old robin oh he's got a nest right there he had a huge worm in his mouth must have babies right here area wow i'm gonna have to take a walk underneath it hopefully i don't get deposited on but check these flowers out peeps oh I'm trying to catch my breath here i'll do a around the world with this flower cluster cluster of flowers oh this kitty cat number th number one you heard me hi kitty 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 yeah meow so i'm sure you guys want to see my face amongst the flowers peekaboo how about this shot hi kitty what's the matter are you doing okay are you doing all right huh? yeah hello hello yeah hello shut up remy Hello. Yeah. Say hello. Yeah. So here I should give you a better shot of me. You know what? I can actually steal some of the some of these pictures from the video. How about that? Another one. Peekaboo. Hey, who's letting him out? Oh, uh, he was out with Tony. Obviously, he was all wet. You you want to be on a video and be a star of the show, Kathy? No thanks. Okay. I'm taking pictures of these flowers. Check them out, man. I mean, it's just totally filled with. Oh, check that out, man. Check it out. See, Dave Voss really appreciate this stuff. So when when he talks about the weather in Florida, if it's bad, and he takes the time to actually text me or call me that it's bad, then it's bad. It's very bad. These are lilies, I think, and I'm not sure what these plants are here. Now, my term would be they are green with white trim edges. That's my term. I'm not sure what kind of flowers these are. That kind of looks like cannabis if you squint your eyes. But uh, I don't think it is. So this video is getting awful long. And uh, I don't want you guys complaining that it is too long. So, um, once again, this is from the Cokes. This right here is um, Sage. This one here is Thyme. This one here is um, Oregano. I think I said it was Oregano. So, Kathy and I are going to plant it. Kathy and Tori are going to plant it in their little, little garden. So, <clears throat> everything's wet here, guys. Everything's wet, but I do a lot of work in, in the bar, in the shop, so. All right, that's it, people. Going inside, and I'm trying to post this video. Um, got a new computer, by the way, and I'll talk to you about that later. Pretty interesting, see you, bye.